currently I'm like going through the motions of switching up my 19-inch <laughs> hi-hat setup. So I play 19s. I've been playing 19-inch um, ZBTs. Um, I think they're like the Z3s or something like that. They're they're actually thrash rods. So I've been playing those for a while. And then um, Zildjian just came out with this symbol called the Smash, the Smash Crash or something, something like that. So I'm using the Smash Crash on top and some weird 19-inch K-Dry dark symbol on the bottom. Um, I, I like to mix and, mix and match them and like um, do a lot of mixing and matching. Trying to get the 19-inch hi-hat to sound right, main, mainly because nobody plays 19-inch hi-hats and um, they don't make them. So um, just to get that sound, I, I do a lot of combinations um, depending on what setup I'm using. Um, I don't think anything is necessarily my own creation. Um, I believe that, I think um, when I was really young, I remember I saw Steve Jordan have some really giant hi-hats, and um, I saw Abe Laboreal since then have some really big hi-hats. But um, I kind of just did it just because um, I was trying to come up with a hi-hat sound that was uh, not only big, but I could hit them from any different angle, really. Like I can, you know, 19 inch cymbal is no, no way in hell you can't hit them. So um, I like the aspect that I could just hit it from anywhere, and um, I just got used to it. And um, at first, it wasn't. It didn't start off at 19s either. It started off at going from 15s to 16s, from 16s to 18s, and then I just went to the Zildjian factory one day, and I was like, "Oh, let's do it, <laughs> 19s," and I just did it. Um, it's kind of like um, just like my answer at like all the rappers who are rolling on dubs. I feel like I'm rolling on dubs every time I hit my hi hat. Well, the hi-hats are important because pretty much all the songs we play have hi-hat in them. And the hi-hat is used to always keep time. But, um, I mean, the hi-hats in some ways are just as traditional as um, using a coated head on your snare drum, you know? Because um, I know a few drummers, one of the drummers that plays for, actually plays for Flaming Lips, I don't even think he uses a hi-hat. He just uses the crashes and the toms and bass drum and snare. <laughs> Um, but I think it is, for me, the, my importance in the hi-hat is I've always had it on my drum set and it helps me keep time. And um, a lot of the songs in my band, the memorials, um, they have a lot of parts that are syncopated that I play between the snare and the hi-hat or the snare and my stack cymbal that I have on the right side. So um, I think having a good cymbal sound is, is really important. Also, just because um, if you hear it so much, it's like, you know, most... Most beats are totally hi-hat kick and snare, so I don't know, I guess that's how important it is.